What's up, Sam? BC Bigger Valley here, and I just uh wanna just uh, show you guys a video, man, of just how I practice and show you how I like to play the game, man. So uh, what I like to do is, man, these are my controller settings, man. When I play basketball, man, when I play this 2K, man, the pro stick, man, I put on dribble moves, man. I mean, I can't shoot with the uh, right stick, man. Every time I try to do something with it, I feel like I'm missing it. And I'm, most of the time, I'm just sitting there pump faking. I got tired of it, so, man, I switched to dribble moves, man, as soon as that option became available, man. And then, man, my pro stick orientation, I always keep on absolute. All this other stuff I put on absolute, man. The absolute is for your uh, pro stick, man, is... Uh, on the right stick, when you press up, that's towards the basket. When you press down, that's away from the basket. Left is left, right is right, man. And no matter where you at, positioned on the court, no matter how your camera angle is, man, that's always going to be the same. And then from that, man, when I just go in, man, I turn my hot zones on, my hot zones. And I just come out, man, and I just practice catch and shoot, man. <clears throat> Once I got that down, man, I'll just go to learning how to shoot off, you know, off the move now, man. So I might just make a move, man, and I'm seeing how the dribble pull-ups are. Just trying to, you know, fill out the animation so I know how to shoot. When the time comes for now, these all just stop and pops, cause that's what you gonna do sometimes, man. You gonna come off that screen, you gonna come off the curl or pick or something. You gonna get ran off that three point line. You gonna have to learn to stop and pop. And when that dribble animation come out, man, you gotta be ready for it. You gotta be able to hit it. Now the benefit of just me having just square to shoot is I know what's coming, man. Even though. You do that little thing, I mean, you be like, man, I wanted to shoot a layup. I know it's going to be a jumper if I'm pressing away from the basket. You know, I'm always thinking it's going to be a jumper. Because what I'm doing is when I'm tapping box, I'm moving the left stick either towards the basket or if a, if a defender's there, I'm moving away from the basket. So I know if I come down and shoot one of those, you know, all those floaters and stuff, that don't really matter because you don't control that, man. If it decides when to make it. So I'm not even worried about time releases on those type of shots. I'm just worried about coming in, moving out the way of a defender, wanting to, and wanting to pull the jumper out. You know what I'm saying? Practice, you know, my hop gathers. And then once I got that, man, then I work on the dribbler. And when this year, man, you can just tap the left stick in all these different directions, man. <clears throat> And you pull out all these moves, man. And I, the joint I like for real is slick is when you tap it forward and they do that little run to you. Man, that's real nice right there. Especially when I can just back up, tap that to the left and run to you, blow by you if you move out a different direction and then pull up. I ain't even really got to do too much moving. That's like a one dribble move. Another thing I like about it, this game, man, is when you tap to do a hop gather, you can keep your dribble. So, you know, that's going to be a dangerous right there. Uh, what else? Okay, let me uh, tell you the right stick, man. And this, you know, I'm about to end the video after I show you this part, though. But this is what I like about the dribble moves on the right stick. Now, now this is me just tapping the stick to the right and to the left, you know, depending on where the ball hand is, what move you're going to do. But man, when you on the move, man, and all that tapping, man, man, that joint hurt my thumbs after a while, man. So, what I like to do is, man, if you just hold the stick to the left, you know, just for like a count of one or two, man. And you're going to do all that. You know, instead of you flicking, flicking, and doing that, you just hold it for a tad bit, man. You're going to bring out one, you're going to bring out two, then you can just left stick and hold turbo and... You know, spin out of it or do whatever you want to do, man. It just lessens all that wear and tear on your uh, right hand, man, on your right thumb, man. All that wear and tear. And then, another thing is when you hold turbo and do it, you know, that's even better. 
Cause you can hold turbo, man. Y'all can just rock that. You know what I'm saying? He rocking that joint right there. And then when you let go of the right stick, you go right into a signature. So you know why not do that? You know what I'm saying? If I can do that rocky, then hold left and go right into my signature move, that's even better for me. Instead of me clicking on that left, on that right stick. Two times to the left, two times to the right, hold R, right, hold, press up. Uh, that's too much, man, just to get a certain move, man. When I can just go ahead and do that, let the animation play out. Depending on where you're going, I'm moving the left stick a different way. And then I'm going to take the basket. And then as far as me shooting layups and all that, man, I'm not going to handcuff my player, man. They say square button, supposed to bring out the best situational move. So I'm going to ride with that. I'ma hold turbo, man. I'ma see the lane. I'ma hit box. If you want cock back and slam, man, that's what you gonna do, Wall. If you want to come from the angle and windmill it, I'm riding with you, man. Whatever you want to do, I'm not gonna handcuff you. Me trying to come down and then keep messing up because I want a euro step and I can euro step for me. Man, the game always fun, because every time I play the game, a new move coming out, just because I'm hitting the box, and a situational move happens. Like, I might not know how to do a move, but if I come down, hit box, and then the animation come out for that move, you know, that's exciting to me. That keeps the game me. I can ride all year playing the game, because every time I play the game, I'm not getting tired of the animations, because every time I play the game, something new coming out. You know, I'm trying, I'm waiting for him to do that 360 layup that I done seen, man. I don't, I don't know how I do it, but when I hit boxing, all of a sudden he do it, man, I, I'm going to be excited, man. But I'm DC Bigger Valley, man. That's how I practice. That's how I play the game, man. Hope this helps y'all, man. Make it easier, man. Save some of that wear and tear on your right thumb, man. I'm up.